Let's understand what is torque with the help of this example. Question is, a force of 500 newtons acts at the end of a wrench, 30 cm long. In what direction should the force act to produce maximum torque? And part B is, at what angle will the force produce half the maximum torque? Now, first let's understand what a torque is, right? Now, Torque is something like this. Let's let's think that we have a bolt here and we want to push it in. Right? So what we can do is we can take a wrench. This will fix it here like this, right? And this is, this is our wrench. And we apply some force at the end of the range, right? Farther away we are, more the effect of the force. And let's say the force is being applied at an angle. Let's say this is the angle, right? So this is the angle at which the force is being applied. And the effect of the force will be to rotate it in this direction, correct? Now, as it rotates, this bolt is going to be pushed in and that is given by the right hand rule, right? So if you put your right hand with fingers folded in this fashion, then the thumb is going to show the direction in which the bolt is going to get in. So it'll be going inside the paper if I have this wrench on the paper, correct? Now, as you can see, this is application of cross product. So you're applying two vectors. So one is this, which is arm right so which is the length of this wrench right it acts as an arm length and the other one is the force itself so now this radial is in this direction outward right we call this r that is r and this is force which is a vector acting in this direction right and the angle in between them is theta so that is the angle we are always talking about. So we have two vectors here. One is R, the other one is force. And always it is R cross F. You can see if you move from R to F with right hand, in that case, this screw will move inside the paper, right? So we have an equation here. The torque is equals to R cross F, vector R cross F. Now, this symbol which I've made here is a Greek letter. Now, this torque, let me just, torque. Torque is written as this Greek letter, which we'll call as tau, T-A-U, right? As a Greek letter, and that is the way it is written. Well, you can write T for it for the time being. But tau equals to R cross F, and that is the equation for torque. Now, a point to be noted here is, that when we are writing R cross F, in that case, units of R, which the radial arm length, is always in meters. And the unit for force is in newtons, right? And therefore, units for torque will be in newton meter, right? Newton meter. So these are the units. So we follow basically MKS system. And they, all the units should be in this way right so that is a good thing to understand here but i hope you understood our equation and why it is so right so now we'll have a couple of examples in which we will try to find torque but this kind of is a basic example which will help you to understand what torque is right so remember r represents the arm length f represents the force being applied and the angle between them is theta. And therefore, now we can write this as magnitude of R times magnitude of F times sine theta. Now that becomes the magnitude of torque and it will act in an angle direction which is normal to the page. And this N is decided by the right hand rule. So, so let me not mess it up here. So this direction is given by right hand rule
as you move from R to F. So, so you have to put fingers moving from R to F and thumb is going to point towards the direction in which it moves. So it is a vector, correct? So that is how it is. Now let's read the question and understand how to answer it. A force of 500 newtons acts at the end of the range. So R is given to us as 30 centimeter, right? So we know R is equals to 30 centimeter, the magnitude, which is 0 0.30 meters, first thing. And the force is 500 newtons. So you know, force equals to 500 newtons. So that's units are perfect. So torque will be equals to R times F sine theta. So R is 0 0.30 meters and force is 500 newtons times sine theta. So that is our equation for torque, right? Now part A, now let's see what is part A. Now part A is in what direction should the force act to produce maximum torque? Direction now literally means direction between the radial arm and the force. So the direction here is given by this theta, right? Now, as you know, sine theta is maximum for theta equals to 90 degrees, right? So we know about sine theta. Sine theta has a range of values, correct? So, so sine theta is from minus 1 to plus 1. If you want maximum result, you get when theta equals to 90 degrees. So when theta is 90 degrees, sine theta is 1, right? So that is what it is. Now it says, what is the maximum torque? Okay, so we can actually find what is the maximum torque for theta equals to 90 degrees. So it's a torque equals to 0 0.30 meters times 500 newtons times sine of 90 degrees. And when you multiply this, you get 0.3 times, so 5 times 3 is 15 and 150 newton meters. So that is the unit. So this is actually the maximum torque. The question is not really asking for maximum torque. It is only asking for in what direction. So the answer is as we gave here theta of 90 degrees, right? Well, part B. Part B for us is at what angle will the force produce half the maximum torque, right? So, so I think maximum torque was required. So let's find, we have already found that to be 150. So half of 150 is, so we need a torque which is half of 150 now. The maximum is 150 for us, that is 75 Newton meter, right? Now what, what we need to find is the angle of force, correct? So we'll again substitute in the same formula. We get 75 as the torque. The radial arm, radial length R is 0 0.30 meters and the force is given to us is 500 newtons, right? Times sine of theta and we need to find what theta is. So sine theta is equals to 75 over 150, correct? Now 75 over 150 is what sine theta is. So from here you can simplify here and write down theta as sine inverse of 75 over 150, right? I prefer not to solve them. They may be very easy at times, but we are using calculators, right? So let's just use calculator and figure it out. So we do second function sine inverse within bracket 75 divided by 150 bracket close equals to 30 degrees. Done. So we get theta equals to 30 degrees. So that is the angle. So if, if this theta is 30 degrees, then the effect of the force will be half as far as the torque is concerned. So that is how we are going to answer this. And I hope with this, you understand what torque is now, correct? So we'll explore more. We'll have a few more examples on torque. But remember, torque is a vector and you get it by calculating cross product of R and F where R is the length of the radial arm and F is the force applied. Now, and the angle between R and F is theta in the formula RF sine theta, correct? Thank you.